Is that Pico de Gallo that I see in here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I expressly asked for no Pico de Gallo. Dude, and this is completely... Relax. And don't, don't you f***ing tell me to relax, okay? Because you don't know what's I'm happening down. in here. You don't know that I had a traumatic experience with Pico de Gallo at a very young age that has formed all of my thought processes since. You don't understand me. You don't love me. You don't give me any tenderness. You don't play video games with me. You won't watch pornography with me. You won't pet dogs with me. You won't steal other people's dogs with me. You won't go to talk. You will go to talk about with me, which is why I appreciate you, but I f***ing hate you right now. Go f*** yourself. So Lindsay, Nick, yes. Today's question comes from 27-year-old Keegan. Keegan says, I really love my girlfriend, Aww. but there is an issue. Okay. Mm -hmm. She seems to cry a lot, and I really don't know what to do when this happens. How can I fix this? Is she crying because you love her? I want to know if it's like, you know, cause and effect here. So we don't we don't have all the details. Mm -hmm. I can only assume that based on, on the way that he's phrasing this, it's that it's not necessarily his fault. It's right, more right. he wants to like help her. You're but inferring he just doesn't here. Know yeah. How. yeah. Okay, all right. I feel like the best way is honestly physical connection is a good way without even saying anything. A word a word says too much. So a hug says everything in mm. one second. Mm -hmm. So I feel like if you just embrace her, bring her in, maybe even coddle some of that crying, just like silence it yeah. inside of your chest, that'll stop the process. Yeah, I think that that's, it's an important thing to point out that this is less about what to do and it's more about what not to do. Ooh, um, then I would not let her continue crying. Let's just stop that right off the bat. I don't know <laughs> if that's gonna be giving her tissues or saying, mm, Kind of the musical director, like, all right, uh -huh. enough. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> that, that says everything without saying anything. So I, I think that uh, it's it's one of those situations where if you you never you never want to tell them the obvious thing because that that's just that implies that they're wrong for feeling the way they're mm -hmm. feeling. You yeah. need to allow them to feel their feelings and let them get it out, mm -hmm. but also be there for them. Yeah. So it's kind of just support them. Don't patronize them. Yes. Yeah. You're equals. I mean, different people show different emotions different, differently, right? Like I show emotions a lot of time by bottling it up mm -hmm. in this little small pit of my stomach and then raging on the nearest person toward me, which is not healthy at all. Uh, it's but usually me. Some people- And I don't like it at all. Yeah, he does, he does not like it. Did you write this? Mm -hmm. Are you the girlfriend or? Maybe this is just how your girlfriend shows emotion. People, people show emotions differently and crying is not necessarily a bad thing. People cry because they're happy, they cry because they're sad, they cry because something's funny. Maybe she's just, that's how she shows emotions. Um, but the question you have to ask yourself is, is this, is this something that is a symptom of a larger issue? And oftentimes when people are crying, if you hit that point in your relationship, and I'm talking if there's, if there's actually an underlying problem in your relationship, if she's crying, it's too late to stop the cry. Right? You have to figure out if there's something actually causing that emotionally that you guys can talk about beforehand so that maybe she feels less inclined to cry because she's happy or yeah. happy or, or you're working toward happiness. She might be doing it in a response, like a positive response to sure. like maybe you indicated that you like crying. Like, oh, hey, I'm kind of a fan of that. Maybe she saw you watching a movie where someone was crying and you had a good response. So she's like, okay, I'm going to do that also and that will make him appreciative. This will give me emotion. Yeah, this will so, get some right. emotion You're, you're sending me. mixed signals to her. You just got to clear yeah. up that signal path. See, I think that uh, as a guy, I feel like a lot of times I'm always trying to think how can I solve this problem oh yeah you know and I think that that's kind of a bad way to look at it it's not a problem that needs to be solved it's more of just like a, an experience that you need to just let happen and be there for mm -hmm. um, it's it's very hard it feels like going against my instincts to say not to say anything because I feel like there, there has to be something to say I found the best words to help I'm gonna make this 11 sex stuff rule is just how can I help because See, that puts it in their court completely. Nice. And don't don't beat them over the head with it. Once, just say it once, and if they don't have an answer, go from there. I think that's a really, really important piece of advice to give people because oftentimes, especially right after you argue, if she's crying and wants to be left alone, you need to be really sensitive to that. As a guy, I always try to solve the problem. I don't want to ever go to bed angry. I don't ever want to go to bed you know, with a conflict. But sometimes it takes longer than five seconds to get over something. Mm -hmm. Right. Sometimes she might be a little bit more emotional about it and she needs to internalize it and think about what that means. And then maybe the next day you guys can have a conversation about it and quote unquote solve the problem. Maybe not even gender differences too, but it could be experiences. Like I know Michael's the same way, but he stews and stews and stews and That's I true. want to talk it out. Very I'm like, true. let's talk, let's talk, baby. It's like, no, 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 just have He's, some time apart. Yep. I mean, and think because different people process things differently, right? Mm -hmm. Like I'm very good at compartmentalizing, but lo and behold, it's probably why I have a little bit of an anger management problem, mm -hmm. right? Where my wife is very even keel, it's because she takes her time, internalizes it, like you know figures out how to process it and then comes back to me and we talk eloquently you need to feed into the energy that they're giving you because if they're if they're upset 
you're just gonna get them more upset and you also need to realize that they're gonna take it out on you and you need to just kind of let it happen. You need to be that punching bag and you need to, to there's things to avoid. You gotta avoid saying it's not a big deal. You need to avoid saying you're overreacting. Mm -hmm. You need to avoid to say like, this is not an issue. It is an issue, let it be an issue, and just sit there and they can tell you you're stupid, that you're not giving, you're not talking enough, you're talking too much, you're this, you're that. You're gonna do the wrong thing no matter what. You being there and not getting upset about it, that's the right thing and that's how you're gonna win. Yeah, and for the love of God, do not say the word relax. Oh God. Or no calm one down. likes to hear that. Calm down. No one likes to hear it's worst fine. Thing to say no to one anyone. likes to hear calm down. No one likes to hear relax. Nope. Let them experience the emotions they're experiencing. Remember. I like to hear, let's take a five. Can we take a five? We'll come back and We'll five. come back? We'll come okay, back cool. Five. And how Sorry. can I help? Those words will save you. Lindsay, where can people find you? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at I am Lindsay Jones. Great. You can find me on Twitter at Tim Geddes. You can find him at Nick underscore Scarpino. And you can find this big, beautiful show every Monday at 9 a.m. YouTube.com slash kind of funny. If you have questions for us, you can go to kind of funny.com slash love and sex, fill out the form, and we'll get back to you at some point in the future. And if you want the love and sex stuff t shirt, which is right in the air, you can go to kind of funny.com forward slash store and get yourself one along with this beauty and that beauty right there. Yeah. Quite soft. It'll be great. Lindsay, thank you so much for everything. Yeah, thank you. Until next time.